let's now talk about commands that are just a little bit more tricky. In the previous custom action, looking at something, we were essentially just giving text feedback to a user. You can look at the door and get a description. But here are two other commands where we actually have to do something more. Here we might have the pick up intent. And we've got ourselves an entity over here. But if a user says pick up the key, then two things need to happen. For starters, we have to utter some sort of message to the user indicating that indeed we've picked up something. But also we have to update the state of the video game. And that's because if you haven't picked up the key beforehand, you should not be able to use that key to open the door. So here we have the intent use. And again, you can say, well, we've got an entity over here and here, but what's going to happen when you give this command depends on this state, whether or not you've picked up the key beforehand. And that means that we have to think about how we're going to implement this state. Because we want to keep the implementation as simple as possible, and we should also keep in mind that we want to separate our concerns. And what I mean by that is this. So let's say that this is my big Raza process. Whenever you type Raza shell, everything that's running is inside of that box. And let's say here we've got the Raza actions box. All the logic that our custom actions are doing is running inside of that. With this in mind, if I think about state in this relationship between the Raza process and the Raza actions process, then I would like that state to be tracked on the Raza side, not on the action side. In the previous video, we saw that we have access to this tracker and we saw that the tracker was able to give us the entities in the previous message, but you can also ask it for other things in the current conversation. You can query for intents, for example, but importantly for our use case, we can also ask it for slots. Now, one way of describing slots is that it's state. It's something that you can keep track of for the long term. An entity on its own is something that's attached to a single message. A slot, on the other hand, is something that is long lived and can span multiple messages. And they are also internally tracked. So that means that every user in every session will have these slots allocated for them. And that means that inside of this Raza actions, we will not have to deal with any of that. So the Raza actions receive information from the tracker. And what I can do inside of these actions as well is I can utter messages to send back but I can also specify slot values. And as far as an inventory system goes, I think slots are going to be the way that we want to implement this.